What's going on folks? Thanks for tuning in and keeping it here all this time. And I uh, appreciate you being here. Thought I'd catch you up on everything going on. You remember the last video that I made like this. I mentioned uh, it was more, it was about that girl that camped out on my front porch and I called the cops, they took her away. Within 24 hours she was out there again. Called the cops, they took her away again. I told you on that video about all that and uh, told you there was more but that was for another video okay so that's going to be this video but first before I tell you about that catch you up on that that girl what happened to her she was in jail almost exactly two months now y'all can go back once you haven't seen that video and watch it if you want to find out what happened the second time I called the cops and they came and got her the, the very next day I forget the dates now I'm thinking July the 11th was the first day and July the 12th she was down here again you can watch the video well the second time they took her away they put her in the slammer man I mean they booked her and she was in there for right at two months exactly two months now on the 7th of this month, September 2024, well a couple of days before the 7th, an officer came here. He said, I just want to let you know it, she's getting going to be released this weekend of the 7th, which was last Saturday a week ago. What is today's the 14th? Yeah, September 14th right now as I'm making this. So a couple days before the seventh, the officer stopped and told me, he said, she's going to get out, she's getting released. Just thought you might want to know. He said, if you need us, call us. And I said, well, you can bet I will. And uh, that was on a Saturday. Like I say, that was last Saturday. She gets released. You know, and I raised the blind and looked out there just like I always do it since that happened. Make sure she's not out there, you know what I mean? Well, Saturday, she wasn't out there, Saturday morning. So, uh, I worked on the guitar for a good little bit, and then I came in here and turned the computer on, and I was still drinking coffee. I hadn't drank the whole pot yet. I came in here and sat down. The window was, the blind was already open. And like I say, I'd been up several hours. It was afternoon Saturday, September 7th, 2024. So, I got on the computer here, and... I don't know what made me look out there. I just, I didn't hear anybody knock on the door or anything. I just got up and looked out the window over at the front porch and damned if she wasn't sitting there in a chair again, man. She had to have come straight a beeline from that jail to here. She had to have. I don't know if the cops brought her. Well, they wouldn't have dropped her off here because they, they know, you know, done arrested her for trespassing twice. I've got cameras and crap I put up all over the place outside and very powerful motion detection lights. But this was in the middle of the day, man, in the middle of the afternoon. I don't think she knocked on the door. I didn't hear her if she did. She was just sitting there in a the chair and she, her head was wobbling. I could tell she looked like she was stoned again. I didn't even go out there. I just picked the phone up, dialed 911 again, told them who I was, where I was at. I said, you remember two months ago? And they said, yeah, yeah. I said, well, she got released today. Guess where she is? <laughs> the, the lady on 911 said, oh, no. And I said, oh, yes. She's sitting out there in a chair on my front porch right now. Her aunt finally came here a month or so ago and got the girl's stuff that she left in my driveway, I took the TV, big screen TV, and I showed you all boxes of stuff she had brought with her when she came here with the intent to stay. <laughs> wow. So the cops came. Somebody knocked on the door. I went and opened the door, and he said, we got a call about that girl being here. And I said, yeah, but she wasn't out there. He said, well, he'd seen her up the road up here. 
walking and he stopped and told her don't come back to this guy's house you're going to be arrested if you're caught on the spot so don't go back there leave him alone and he wanted to tell me that and I said well I appreciate you telling me he said if you have any trouble call me and I said sure will <laughs> so that was Saturday afternoon then later that evening, last Saturday night, at 9.30, I hear bang, bang, bang. I thought, what in the hell? I looked at my cameras, and it was her again. And I mean, she was knocking on every door, man, trying to get in, banging on the walls and the windows. So I called 911 again. I said, man, she's back here again. It's the fourth time. I'm really getting tired of this shit. And the lady said, we have officers in the area. They're already on their way. I said, well, fine. I said, if she knocks the glass out of my, my sliding glass door in there, you know, it's going to get ugly. So please hurry. Please hurry and get the, the officers here. I thought she was going to knock the glass out of it. She was hitting it so hard. And it got quiet. And I thought, well, they're out there. And a few minutes later, two... Two carloads of cops came. They got out and looked around. She wasn't anywhere to be found. Motion lights were still turned, still burning. They burned like, I think I have them set for six minutes after no more motion. So they got in our cars and went up around behind the back street here, up on the hill and around the other side. Came back up this street and went right on up above me up here. I told them, I said, she's got a, that girl's got an aunt that lives up here just maybe an eighth of a mile from here. That's the one that picked her stuff up. So both police cars went up this way. And about, I'm guessing, 60 to 70 yards up here. That way. They stopped. And you, you guys know me. I can't see where they shit anymore, man. I could see people getting in and out of both police cars they were letting traffic through but they sat there a long time a long time I mean like 30 minutes man they were right there and I figured the girl started walking or running up that way to her aunt's house cause her aunt's the one that all her stuff I don't watch she come here you know when she got out of jail she knows she's gonna be arrested if she comes here yet she still kept coming but whatever they did up here, they were up there a long time, at least 30 minutes. I watched them the whole time, but like I said, I couldn't really see anything. It was after dark. But I could see people getting in and out of the police cars. That's really all I could see. I couldn't tell who anyone was. Well, finally, police cars turned around, came back out this down the street no blue lights or nothing I thought well they've got her probably picked her up right there I was just felt sure that they picked her up something went on up here so uh, lights never came on anymore that night no one I haven't seen or heard from the girl but I looked on the arrest website you can go to for any state and then any county level and I looked for this state and this county, saw where she was arrested the last time, but there were no records showing her being arrested on that night or the next day or any this past week. And she ain't been back, so I don't know what happened to her, and I really don't give a shit, man. I just wish she'd leave me alone now, you know what I mean? I'm way too busy to put up with crap like that. So I don't know where she's at. She's not here. You know, my problem's hopefully solved now. I hope. Now, the other story I was going to tell you guys about for another video. I said on the last video, it was for another video. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this one and tell you about it too. Some of y'all asked me why videos are coming so slow. Well, this video is going to explain it as well as I can. When all her stuff was out here, I don't remember the date. It was along about the time her stuff was piled up in my driveway. My son and one grandson came to visit. 
they stayed the biggest part of that, that day. And they were getting ready to leave, and I walked outside with them. We were standing in the parking lot. And uh, just standing there talking, you know, they are getting ready to pull out and go back to their house. <clears throat> their house. And this helicopter flies over top of the house. It looked like an army type helicopter. It wasn't one of these regular pretty shiny helicopters. This thing looked like it was a military helicopter. Flew right over my house. He was pretty low. And then he circled the house a couple of times. And I told my boys, I said, they're, they're looking for something or something going on, man. But that ain't the kind of helicopter you see every day. This thing was huge, man. Like I say, you could just tell it was a military chopper. Well, it flew north of my house, turned around, and hovered there for a long time facing my house. We were still standing in the parking lot. And I told the boys, I said, there, there's something going on with this. Anyways, we talked a little bit. And the helicopter came right over top of the house, man. I could see him looking with binoculars, looking at us. You know, and at that point, I'm thinking, what the hell is happening here? Why are they looking at me, you know, in my own driveway like that? So we said our goodbyes, and the boys left. And it just kept buzzing around here. It wasn't five minutes, man, after they left. A police car come sliding in my driveway. Three cops jump out of it. I knew one of them. His name was Mike. Mike said, Randy, everything's all right. Just take it easy. I said, what the hell's going on, man? Helicopter, military cop, chopper over my head. I could have threw a rock and hit it, man. I thought he was going to land right in the, the driveway. Right in the parking lot. Mike said it's all, he said, a guy was armed and dangerous and in this area. He got away from them somewhere here close. And he was armed and dangerous. And he said, the guy looks like your twin brother. He looks identical. I freaking identical to you, Mike told me. And uh, he said the guys in the chopper thought that was the guy, thought I was the guy that the cops were looking for that day. He said, I told him, I know Randy, I know him. That's not who we're looking for. He looks like that guy, yes, but it's not him. But like Mike said, they have to check out every every report, you know, no matter what it is. They get a, somebody think they've seen him or somebody reports seeing him, they got to check it out. Mike said, I knew you, you lived here, and he wasn't going to be here at your house, and you looked at, like the guy. Anyways, they told me, he said, go in the house, lock up, make sure everything's locked up tonight. And he said, uh, well, a friend of mine told me too, said, man, you might not want to go out for a few days. Craziest people are, someone might think I'm that guy and try to make a citizen's arrest. <laughs> so that had me screwed around for a week it seemed like I don't know if I ever did catch a guy or not I never saw him on any of the rest sites websites so I don't know but wow this weird shit like that man going on here all of the friggin time it seems like every day it's something new or every week something new I'd like to talk to Mike and see if they caught that guy or not though but I didn't go to the store. I didn't go nowhere, man, for like five days, fearing that someone would think I was that guy and try to make a citizen's arrest on me. You know, a buddy of mine told me, he said, man, I'd stay home for a few days if I were you. I said, yeah, I've had enough shit, man. I don't need to go out here and get arrested by someone who thinks I'm that guy that they were looking for. I don't know if they ever did get him or not. And I went to the store uh, a week or so ago, and the trucks went out, uh, the trucks went out, the brakes went out on my truck, the trucks went out on my brake, <laughs> wow, that should tell you how beat down I am, brakes went out on the truck, almost wrecked, finally made it home, no brakes, none whatsoever, man, all I had was the emergency brake, 
and it didn't work very good. You know, you know, if you're sitting still, you set the emergency brake. Cue balls here with me. It'll hold if you're sitting still and you set it. It'll hold on steep hill. But if you're going 60 miles an hour and you you can shove it clear to the floor, and the truck just gradually slows down, you know, eventually it's not very good to drive with. But I got home. And my son, I was telling him about it, he said, Where are you, who are you going to take it to get it fixed? I said, man, when your mom left, she left me in a shape. I can't take it anywhere and get it fixed. I said, I, I can't afford to pay anybody to fix it. I had to fix it myself. So I did. I put it in the garage, crawled underneath it, found where the line busted. Oh, right here it is. That little piece of line rusted and busted. So I ordered all new brake line for it and those little unions that uh, couple it together I had all the tools flares and pipe cutters and all that stuff to do it with because I used to do this stuff years ago and as I got older I just hated man working on cars I used to be big into hot rods I still like hot rods and stuff but you know you learn to work on cars if you have a lot of hot rods in your young years and I did. I changed motors, transmissions in them, my rear ends, gears, everything. So I told my son, I said, I know how to do it. I can, I can fix it myself. But, you know, if I had a little more money, I would pay someone to do it. I've always been doing that for the last 30 years or more than that. Anyways, I got it fixed. It's, it's okay now. I got to bleed one wheel yet. The right rear break it's still got a little bit of air in it so I need to bleed that but that's nothing one day my son or grandson's here I'll have him pump it up and hold it I can I know how to bleed it by just using gravity and I might do that it takes forever but you can do it and I know they make a special tool you can put on there now and suck the air out of the line I don't have one of those I'm not going to buy one and just use it once and throw it under the bench you know what I mean so that's what's been going on. That's the rest of the story with the girl. And uh, the other story about the chopper flying over my house and cops coming. They said, you know, they knew, Mike knew that I wasn't the guy they was looking for. But he, like he said, they have to check out every report. No matter what, you know, they have to check it out. So they had to come here, verify that I am who I say I am. And not that guy that looked like a twin brother. Lord, I pity him if he looks like a twin brother to me. <laughs> you know, it's just been so busy, man, with crazy shit like that going on. I'm still doing repairs, man, every day. Do repairs every day. I've done three today. I just haven't been videoing it because of so much activity here, man. There's another story, a thing that happened involve guns that happen but I'm not going to tell that on YouTube I might tell the patrons about it sometime but I'm not going to put it on YouTube just quite yet I probably never will not this story so I can't put it on this video because this video is going to go to patrons first and then YouTube and then that one about this other thing that happened Lord it was bad so patrons if you see this the ones of you that watch this Watch for that video because I'm not 100% sure yet that I'll make it. I probably will, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty hardcore stuff. Anyways, that's a, one of the main reasons the video is so slow. I'm, I'm trying to get back into it. Wife's still gone. Cue ball's still here with me. Her leg finally healed up. And uh, I can't think of anything else, so I'll just say thank you from the heart. For keeping it here through all this crazy, wild, mad shit. It's so weird, man. Like I said before, you live 40 years. Every day is pretty much the same. You know, nothing changes. And Jesus, in three years, everything that you knew, thought you knew, changes. Everything. Different. But I'm getting back on track slowly. Uh, way slower than I'd like, but it's coming along. And I'm going to get back into making guitar videos, repair videos, and maybe even some lesson videos if I can still play. Thank you guys for 
keeping it here. Thank you for watching. That's what's been going on with the house. It never sleeps, and it sure ain't been getting much sleep here. Of course, it never did, really, but cheers. I'll see you next time.